Well, I'm going to start uh, another round of uh, PC boards, although this time I'm going to uh, try to be a little bit uh, more uh, scientific about it. And uh, I'm actually going to uh, weigh the uh, PC boards uh, before I uh, smash them up with my rock crusher. And so that I have a uh, start and uh, weight and a uh, finish weight when I uh, melt it all down. So here I am first to the record keeping. This isn't going to be done uh, in uh, a weekend, that's for sure. But I just want to start off by showing this. So I'm going to start with uh, 0 0.244 pounds. I'll break those up with my pliers. Uh, before eventually grinding them and I'll just add more and more PC boards. I won't uh, weigh each one though All right, let's get started on this uh, second uh, shot at this project I've got my uh, 3D printer running in the background, so hopefully that uh, noise isn't going to come through and uh, mess up my uh, voice over here. Uh, somewhere along the line, I lost that uh, slip of paper that I showed you in the uh, introduction. Uh, I don't have a clue what the total amount of raw PC board uh, material I uh, started off uh, with. So instead, I decided to shoot for uh, roughly a, a pound of processed PC board uh, material plus uh, whatever heat sink and uh, other larger pieces of uh, material I might have. After uh, all of the PC board ore uh, was panned out, I was left with nearly half a pound of material to smelt. Uh, there's a distinct reddish color, which I believe uh, to be uh, toroid uh, material, which is uh, ferrous uh, in composition. Um, which is where uh, those uh, copper uh, wires, those larger pieces, uh, came from. I uh, had a conversation with my chemist's daughter, who worked in an assaying uh, lab here in uh, North Idaho, about how much uh, borax flux I should uh, use. Uh, she told me the uh, ranges run from 10% to 50% of the original weight of the material being uh, smelted. I noticed that uh, Jason of Mount Baker Mining and Metal used close to 50%, so I went with that amount. I have a uh, crucible dedicated to uh, pot metal, which makes for all sorts of uh, alloys. Who knows what the compositions are when uh, some of it's done. I also use this crucible to uh, smelt uh, PC board uh, material. By this time I could see what looked like uh, beads of uh, metal starting to uh, form. 
even if the uh, camera isn't uh, quite picking it up here. Uh, anyway, it uh, looked like uh, things were working the way it was supposed to be. Well, it seemed to be working as it was supposed to be working, until I ran into a very goopy mess. Not only did I have a uh, goopy mess, but the metal I wanted was not sinking to the bottom of the crucible. With the uh, copper stuff smelted, but not really, I moved on to the uh, aluminum heat, heat sink material and the uh, other shiny parts that I pulled off of the uh, PC boards. Well, look at that number. No wonder I was having problems. After pouring the aluminum, I went back and combined uh, both collections of slag, my first attempt and this attempt, and I uh, cooked all of it a whole bunch uh, more. And uh, what you see here is what I came away with. It uh, didn't occur to me until later that uh, I was trying to uh, reproduce something I had seen on another YouTube channel, but that I had uh, skipped a step. When uh, Jason of Mount uh, Baker Mining and Metal uh, smelts his ore, he always includes a collector metal. I didn't. Uh, so is that uh, why there is uh, so much visible metal suspended in the slag? And I wonder, should I have dropped the aluminum in from the start? Uh, similar to what I did the first time around, uh, but just uh, cooked uh, the whole thing longer than I did the first time. Here's the uh, grand total of what I've produced so far from smelting PC boards, not including the stuff still trapped in the slag. Thanks a whole bunch for watching. If you found this uh, video uh, entertaining, informative, or any such things like that in any way, shape, or form, please like and subscribe. Blessings.